underway at Hinson Park. The Giants and the Suns. The final home and away game of season seven. And Stack going back with the fly. Into lovely step to McCormick to Staunton. Thumps it long and deep. Inside 50. What a way to start in game 50 for Cora Staunton. Thumps it. It's a wobbler, but able to control it. Garnett. She's already kicked one. Has she got her kicking boots on into the breeze right on the buzzer? And that is a momentum blow for the Suns and give the home fans something to celebrate. So the Suns will finish the AFLW season in ninth position. It's their best. AFLW campaign yet, but they're still yet to beat the GWS Giants, the two youngest clubs in the AFL landscape, and the Giants go 4-0 and zero over the Suns in the AFLW, and hugs for Tanya Hetherington, and a sweet way for Cora Staunton to finish her 50th game. The Giants win by 12. Zarika, right place, right time. Does she wait that well in the end? Snapping it is the pop boot for the afternoon. And when you're hot, you're hot. And GG is hot. She's got three. Georgia Garnett, who's relieved the pressure of, of the expectation on Cora Staunton this year. And as you can see, she's provided a real presence inside 50 for the Giants, ranked number one in the AFLW for marks this year. She finds the football, great read of the ball, of course. You know, she spent so much time in the back half. You know, you, you've got to be able to read the ball pretty well if you're going to play down there. And just bringing that awareness into her forward craft. And, you know, she put her hand up and said, oh, I want to play in the forward in the forward line. Give me a chance. And uh, she's been outstanding this season there. She's in red hot form, Garnett. She's good enough to win it and finish really well. She's playing so well. Whistle on play. It's going the Giants' way. So here's an opportunity. Hill. Hand passes it off to oh. Evans. What an incredible strike of the footy! Bang! Well, that's a big roost. Tony Evans from outside 50. Maybe a little bit aided by the breeze, but regardless, she is one of the most dynamic players in the competition, I reckon. Half back, she runs the carry, she kicks the ball, he looks for the one two. Such a lovely long kick, we saw that on that occasion. That was some sort of finish from nowhere, Jess. Welcome to the SCG for the first Sydney Derby in NAB AFLW history. It's East against West, Red v Orange, new against old, with one of these teams set to claim initial bragging rights in the Harbour City. Bouncing ball inside forward 50, chance here for Dalloway, linked up with a teammate with speed, Nicola Barr! Welcome back into the history books. The first goal in the Sydney Derby goes the way of Nicola Barr, who wrote an open letter to everyone about this experience this week. She's been a Sydney supporter her whole life. Looking for teammates, and they've worked it out here. The use of the body from Goldsworthy, who's got another two today against the Swans, just as she did in the scratch match about five weeks ago. What a talent, the 17-year-old. They say to the new kids on the block, the Sydney Swans, that it's our derby first up. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. Hawks need a mark. McDonough underneath it. Hetherington. Grierson pumps it inside 50 again for the Giants. Hawks have the numbers. Richardson has been great all day to Brown. Now to Lucas Roche, but she's had a fumble. Parker now gives it to Barr. Can she be the match winner? It's a point, but it might just win the game for the Giants. They're in front with four seconds to go. Giants win an instant.
Nation. It is the Giants home by a point.